experience being in Mr. Nunley's class? You got to speak up too. Well, it wasn't it wasn't hard. I just made it hard for myself because I didn't pay attention. But if you paid attention and you did your work, it was easy and you made it you made it a fun environment for us to learn. It wasn't boring. Okay, Miss what? For me, it was um, a challenge. Um, but then again, it pushed me. It did push me to put more effort into what I did do in your class. And I did like that we started doing debates because it kind of helped with um, our speech and how we present ourselves in front of others. So I did. I did. Okay. Uh, first period again, uh, Mr. Jones. I kind of felt like your year. It wasn't it, while you were here. It wasn't challenging. But it, it did throw me off, because I wasn't used to writing as often as you demanded. And so it gave me a good glimpse of like how like a college-like setting would be like with the essays, and you have a certain due date, and you have to be done by that date. And it helped me just learn different, different things. Like with the debating again, it, it, was, it was different. So I enjoyed that. Okay. Mr. McLeod? All right. So your class was like, it was hard, but easy. Like, hard was things you gave us to do, but then you gave us the material and how to do it. So it's not like you just gave it to us and we didn't know what to do. It's like we knew what to do, it's just a matter of putting effort into doing it. That was on us. And like your class was like, I don't want to say fun, but it was like kind of funny. Like how you make jokes sometimes or play the good music in the morning. I just didn't like what it meant. Okay. I get Mr. Bullock? Okay, it was good. I mean, like Johnson said, you never, I mean, you kind of threw some curveballs, but you never really lied to us. You always told us what was happening, what was expected, and so yeah, that was pretty good. That, that's what made it kind of, like, the preparation was nice. That's all I got to say. Mr. Sanchez. Second period, my second period class. Uh, not just the challenges, but what was your experience with me as a teacher? How, how, what was your experience in my classroom that was different than other English classes or other teachers that you may have had this year? Uh, let's start off with the ladies again for second period. Tim, we go first. Okay, um, the work is challenging, but you set us up to where we can, um, where we can actually get it done, and. We can tell that you gen genuinely cared about our grade and us and how we were respected and how you made uh, everybody respect us and how you just set us up to succeed. Ms. Lee? Well, I can say that this school year, it was, in this class, it was, it was pretty it was good or whatever. But we never like, set us up to fail or anything. Like, you actually cared about what we did and how we did it how we um, presented ourselves in front of others and just like basically just giving us those, um, those, um, just basically like just giving us life skills in class and like outside of class and just like helping us out like life. Uh, Miss Lillard, you was over there hiding again. <laughs> Talk to me. What did, how was your, what was your experience in my class? Ms. White, you over there. Ms. Perry, because you're third period. What was your experience? You're not going? You sure? I'm here. Okay. Uh, oh, Ms. Moulton over there hiding. I got you. Come on, talk to me. Uh, 
gentleman for second period. Raise your hands. Mr. Robinson, talk to me, dog. Well, see, I don't want to use the term pushed. We was taught to do stuff. We <laughs> just really, like, and, like, we, we, we was encouraged in this class. It wasn't like no regular, oh, how y'all day? Okay, whatever. Um, it was like, how y'all day? I noticed this. You know, you were a teacher that cared. You, you didn't only, like, push us. You taught us. Even stuff we forgot, you went back and you helped us. And I appreciate it. Uh, third period, young ladies, third period. Miss Moore, kick it. Well, I believe this class is very challenging, but then again, I found out like little things about myself, and I found out that I can actually go like beyond my own limits, which is actually like a good thing. And yeah, the work was pretty easy. Uh, Penelope, we coming back over there. Give me something. What you learned? How, what was your experience? That your class is very challenging, and you taught us many things that we have not learned. And you made me think um, and when you teach it like the top front of class. Miss Bean. Um, Miss Red. Um, I feel like the like the class was easy, it's just that I made it really hard myself. I haven't been like on top of my game this school year in all my classes, and I feel like you care because like you the only teacher that called my mom and like told her like we're bad, so I mean I you know do what she's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, in my third period, ladies. Miss Day. Okay. Um, this class was like more, it was different for me because I never had anybody like to push me to like like to be successful. But um, like at my other schools, like I had teachers that just give us work and expect us to like get it right, but don't help us. And then when I came here, it's like you pushed me. It's all right, baby. Take your time. Like, my dad, he told me that my little sister, she will always be smarter than me. And I'll never make it in life if she will ever to know me. Come on, bro. Bridges, talk to me. Um, I really, <laughs> I liked you as a teacher because, like, you were really concerned. Like, I come in here with a smile almost every day, and when I had like an attitude, you pull me to the side and ask me what was wrong or whatever. And this class wasn't that challenging because I like English, so if you did the work, it was easy. Um, I like the debates because I like to argue, but I, was, I don't like speaking in front of people. So that kind of helped a little bit. And it increased, like, you helped out because when I did my presentation, I wasn't nervous, but usually I am. So the debates are really good. That's it. Okay. Let's start with the gentleman from third period, Mr. Peralta. Um, you push me to a whole new level. Um, so back then, like, in my previous, like, grade level, I used to set my bar here when like the actual class it was around here but then for this class you set up all the way here. So like you like for example like you have become like, like you, you you have become like my mentor and you have been telling me like tips and advices and 
to like what programs to enter like for the summer. And even though you have sent, you have threw like some curveball at us. Like we know that our deck, our test and quizzes, they were all going to be like really, really similar like to the homework. And I haven't really put like that much effort into an English class as I have this year. Um, and like, even though it sounds like it's one of vocabulary words, it isn't much. You made it a lot. Like finding like the etymology and all those things, and I actually find I I actually found I actually found those um, vocabulary words much more interesting. No other words. It has been a total pleasure being in your class and you teaching us. Uh, Mr. Hinton. This class was in a way easy, but I get it up. I just didn't push myself because I just sat and was being lazy most of the year. But like, towards the end, I really said I was like, I didn't do good. Speak up. Like, the beginning of this year was really easy for me. But I realized that 